children, what do you see here? You have studied the structure of female reproductive system. You successfully compared it with the male reproductive system. What do you see here in all the images? Have patience. Relax. You have done a lot. You are doing beautifully. Just pay your attention to each and every image. What is one thing common? Can you tell me in the chat box, what is one thing common in all the images that you see right in front of you? Come on. I want some answers. Very good. Babies. All the animals are with their babies. Good answer. But what are babies doing? Why are babies clinging to their mother? Thank you. Mothers are, all the mothers are feeding the babies. And for that, all these mothers, the females in all these species have memory glands. In last class, I shared uh, an emotion with you that you know what? A female body is designed by God to do that, to, to perform that biggest, uh, 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 the action of responsibility, action of biggest responsibility is to keep a young one, to develop a young one in her body for nine months, to give birth and then nourish and help uh, in the growth of that young baby. A newborn without mother's nourishment will not survive. He cannot go and uh, order a pizza or a burger and feed himself. He can't even walk. He can't even sit when he's born. He doesn't know how to even eat. The reflexes might not have developed fully. So a female body is beautiful and blessed to perform that function. And the structure for feeding are the memory glands. So, this is a mother feeding a baby. Although memory glands, it's, it's very uh, unfortunate that a female's breast or memory glands, we as biology uh, uh, students can say that, are sexualized. They are seen um, it is shown in movies and uh, uh, what not that they are the organs of sexual, uh, you know, a male is supposed to get excited and sexualized looking at the memory glands. Whereas the purpose of breasts in a female is not that. It is the very essence of a female being a female. It has to be revered and respected. The same, uh, the, any male who is sexualizing a female's breasts or memory glands actually fed, actually was fed by his mother through these breasts. And that is why God made them. We are going to be studying the structure of female breasts to understand how they are able to nourish the baby. So externally, they are two rounded structure or in the chest region, front chest region of a female. You know from class 11th that the major large pectoralis mus muscle running from, remember the chapter of locomotion I did with you? Yeah, we saw each and every muscle, the chest muscle running from the clavicle, attaching to the breastbone or sternum, attached to the humerus on one side pectoralis major. So, on pectoralis major, which forms the front wall of the chest, females have well-developed memory glands. Well, glandular portion, when I say memory glands, glandular portion is one portion of the breast. Okay, so we will study about the internal structure of breast also. Breasts are not developed from birth. A newborn female has underdeveloped breasts until puberty. 
as she attains puberty we have talked about this earlier in our first class this is one of the major secondary sexual characteristic that develops on attaining puberty enlarging of breasts of course this change or this transition at puberty happens under the effect of hormones the estrogens okay just like testosterone does that it's a secondary sexual character so till puberty the mammary glands are underdeveloped all right and when at the time of puberty estrogen and progesterone are released both these hormones lead to the development of internal structure internally you see how the size of the breast is increasing and also these are called ducts i am going to be teaching you the internal structure in detail but here what you see do you see the increase in the ducts and something called as secretory alveoli will be talking about them all these internal structures start developing because a mother's body is getting ready to feed a newborn they are ready even if a female doesn't carry a baby they are ready the difference is see the structure is ready the ducts are developed the adipose tissue is increased the secretory alveoli which are going to secrete the milk which are going to produce the milk they are ready but the milk actually is ejected or secreted which is lactation only uh, during pregnancy and childbirth 